Well, hey there! How are all my T-Rex buddies today? You know what? Today is a big day for Terry and his new friend, Mr. Spackle. They've been working on something for a while, and they're finally finished putting it together. As your mom and dad go do grown-up stuff, let's go find out what Terry has going on. Maybe it'll give you some ideas as well. Terry and Mr. Spackle, the school's caretaker, They've spent several weeks putting together a presentation about Tourette's Syndrome for the school. They just finished fine-tuning it and are ready to give it to the faculty to review and get feedback on things to add or change. Terry went to school with his mind set on sharing his T-Rex once and for all. He met Mr. Spackle at the front entrance and they walked into the office together. Today was the perfect day as it was a late start for the students because of an in-service work day for the teachers. They had spoken with the principal and they set everything up. None of the teachers knew what was in store for them this morning. Terry was rather nervous since he was so young and going to be sharing his knowledge with adults. That can be intimidating for a young person, but Mr. Marks, the principal, he assured Terry that he was the expert. So he had nothing to worry about. Mr. Spackle was also right there, so if he got stuck, there was someone to help him out. They entered the auditorium and made their way across the stage to the podium. The stage lights shone brightly and blocked out all the teachers who were sitting in the audience, which made it easier for Terry. He started his presentation and acted like he was back home practicing it in front of the mirror. Terry started off by explaining what T-Rex was and how it affected him. He then explained about conditions his friend Ozzy, who has OCD, and Andy, who has ADHD, what they had, and how the three of them together amplified each other. He wanted to include them in the presentation, but with the three of them working together, <laughs> it became too chaotic. So the other two decided to step aside and let Terry be their spokesperson. After explaining the conditions, Terry talked about how they were affected in school with anxiety and how difficult it was for him to stay on task. He explained how he needed some extra time for things like homework or just getting to class on time. It's not always easy getting things done on time when everything comes together and just gets in the way. He and his parents do their best to manage his time wisely, but it's not always so easy. And sometimes, getting a good night's sleep the night before, it is just, it can be impossible. After he finished explaining the issues he faced with the disorder itself, Terry explained some of the issues he deals with from society. He heard a few sniffles from the crowd as he explained the stares and comments from people who didn't understand. He then heard one teacher start bawling and walk out of the room when he shared his story about being bullied on the bus. Miss Osgood was in the audience at Terry's invitation, and she was slightly embarrassed as he thanked her for her help that day. But she hollered out, You're welcome! after he finished. Finally, Mr. Spackle spoke. He gave Terry a well-deserved acknowledgement and approval for his bravery. Then he began to share his story of growing up with Terex and how it affected him then and now that he was an adult, he talked about it, the importance of support for people with Turex in all stages of life. He surprised everyone with how astute he was. Miss Osgood sat and stared as she had hearts in her eyes. When Mr. Spackle was finished, there wasn't a dry eye in the crowd. The lights shut off and Terry watched as the faculty gave him a standing ovation. He didn't think it was that big of a deal, but his teacher came onto the stage and gave him a big hug. She told him she was sorry for being so hard on him, and now she understood what he was going through. She shook Mr. Spackle's hand and thanked him for sharing his story, too. Terry gave Mr. Spackle <laughs> the fist bump as they smiled at each other. The reaction from his teachers gave him the confidence he needed to share with his fellow students. Mr. Marks gathered all the teachers together, and they agreed to have an all-student assembly the following week so Terry could share his presentation with the entire school. He felt it was important that this be done as soon as possible. He didn't want any more kids to be bullied at his school. 
and knew this was the first step to educate everyone on their differences. Speaking in front of an audience can be a very frightening thing for anyone. In fact, many surveys have been done and public speaking is constantly listed as number one of things people fear most. And that includes some other major events that can happen. But by learning everything a person can about a topic, they become the expert when delivering that information to others. In doing that, we're able to spread proper factual information that can not only help currently, but also carry over to future generations. With Tourette Awareness Month coming soon, there's an opportunity to share that information with schools, employers, and many others who know nothing about Tourette Syndrome. Take the time to research what you can, and it may just be one aspect of Tourette Syndrome, but learn the most you can and build your knowledge and confidence to share with others. It's a brave step, but honestly, you have an advantage that most people don't. You live with it every day, and most likely, you've already dealt with being in the spotlight. Yeah, through your tics and everything. So let loose with that bravery you already have and educate everyone you can. Give me that fist bump, guys. And this is Megalodon saying bye for now. Later, tater.